Hi everyone, we will continue with second part, steps in problem solving, 1.1, problem analysis. Okay, for the learning outcomes, identify input, process, and output from a given problem. First, after you get the problem, read the problem carefully okay still remember analyze the problem you must identify input process and output to do problem analysis start with the output first so for the output imagine the result what to find or calculate second for input read the data Okay, what data is needed to get the output? And the last process, perform the computation. Explanation of how to process the data to get the output. Remember the guideline. We see the first uh, example. Okay, before we continue, we have three type control structure. The first one, sequence, second, selection, and the third one, looping or repetition. So, this one, example for sequence. Okay, for problem statement, first, you must read carefully. Okay, calculate and display the product of two numbers. Calculate and display the product of two two numbers so to do the problem analysis first you must imagine the result so for this problem statement the output product of two numbers this is the output so to get this output you must need input okay number one number so for process, calculate product of two numbers. Okay, for IPO chart, input process output. Okay, this one is IPO chart. So for input, number one and number two. For process, calculate product of two numbers so for the output product of two numbers okay, you just write using table for second example okay calculate average of three numbers first you have to do problem analysis find out the output so for this problem segment the output Okay, remember the guideline. What is to find or calculate? So the output is average. Okay. What data is needed to get the output means what data is needed to get the average. So num1, num2, num3. So process, you must explain of how the process the data to get the output. So Calculate average. Okay, for IPO charts, you use a table to write the input process output. So for the input, we have number one, number two, number three. So for process, just write calculate average. And the last one, output average. Example 3, calculate the area and circumference of a circle. So first, we have to do problem analysis. Let's find out the output first. So for this problem statement, the output, area and circumference of a circle. Okay, to get the output, you must have input. Okay, what data is needed 
to get the area and circumference of a circle. So the answer is radius. So for process, calculate area and circumference of a circle. So this one is IPO chart. So for input, you just write radius. For process, calculate area and circumference of a circle. For output, area and circumference of a circle. Okay, example 4, problem statement. Intan Bookstore offer 10% discount for each book during sales promotion. Calculate the price of the discount for a book. Okay, make sure when you get the problem statement, first step you must read carefully to identify or to do the problem analysis. So first step, trace out the output. So based on this problem statement, the output should be price after discount. So to get price after discount, okay, input price, process, calculate price after discount. Second, uh, we will discuss, analyze the problem for control structure selection. Okay, we read the problem statement first. Display a message. Congratulations when the score is 100. Okay, first you have to do problem analysis. So the output, okay, what is to find? Okay, if you see for this statement, you must display a message. Congratulation. So this is the output. Okay, to display this message, input, okay, score, okay, for process, determine whether the score is 100 based on score entered. Determine whether the score is 100 based on score entered. Okay, for input, score, for process, determine whether the score is 100 based on score entered. So the message, congratulations. So for example 6, we still are uh, under control structure selection, Let's analyze the problem. So first we see the problem statement. The high school poetry competition is only is open only for students above 15 years old. Display eligible if the students meet the requirement. Else, display not eligible if otherwise. So, as usual, you must identify the problem analysis first. We start with output. So you must display two message. Message eligible or not eligible. Remember eligible or not eligible. So to display these two message, so the input, you will use H. So for the process, determine the eligibility of the students based on age entered. I repeat again, determine the eligibility of the students based on age entered. So for the IPO chart, input age for process, determine the eligibility of the students based on age entered. So for the output, because we have uh, two message, we will display either eligible or not eligible. 
सो मैसेज एलिजिबल और नॉट एलिजिबल सो कंपलसरी यू हैव टू राइट और Example seven. Okay, if a student is in module two group, display the message: the student is taking computer science subject. Otherwise, display the message: the student is taking biology subject. So for the problem analysis, okay, for the output, the message: the student is taking computer science subject. Or oh. message the student is taking biology subject. So for the input, okay, to print out the message, so you will use module. For process, determine the message based on the module. We have a control structure, repetition or looping. This is the example for problem statement. For looping, calculate the total of ten numbers that input by user. Calculate the total of ten numbers that input by user. So first step, as usual, you have to do the problem analysis. You have to start with output. So for the output, remember, okay, output, what to find, okay. Huh? Okay, for the output, what to find or calculate? So you have to find total of ten numbers. Okay, for input, what data is needed to get the output? So the input number. Okay, but for the okay for process, calculate total of numbers based on number entered. Okay, for the IPO chart input number process, calculate total of ten numbers based on number entered. For the output, total of ten numbers. Okay, example eight. Calculate the area of ten rectangles. So for the output, the area of Ten rectangles. So for the input, length and width, because to calculate the area of the rectangle, we need uh, length and width. For process, calculate the area of ten rectangles based on length and width. And Okay, for the IPO chart, uh, you can write for input length and width. For process, calculate the area of ten rectangle based on length and width entered. For output, the area of ten rectangles. Okay, uh, last example. Okay. Print message. I love Kempiki twenty times. Okay, first do the problem analysis. Okay, for the output, okay, twenty messages of I love Kempiki. Second, for the input, for this problem statement, we don't have any input because we just want print message. So for process, print message. I love Kempiki. Repeat for twenty times. Okay.